Hey yo, so welcome back to NASCAR at the Game 2013. As you see right here, last where we left off, uh, we were at Auto Club Speedway, and we ended up finishing 19th, which is way better, way better than the previous four races combined. <laughs> Um, now I'm hoping to continue that in Martinsville. I did some testing before uh, I did before I hit record, and the car was really good. Let's give him a great show. Qualified ninth, and this was before like the game was acting really glitchy, so I had to restart the computer in order to do this. But here we are. It's race six, the Goodies Fast Relief 500 in Martinsville. Let's go. Up. Oh, there we go. Hello and welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Goodies Fast Relief 500 from Martinsville, Virginia. I'm Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip. You know, Mike, we call this the paper clip. Those long straightaway tight turns, really hard on brakes, and you're going to need some good brakes if you're going to win here today. On creek corners, asphalt straightaway is a real challenge. It is. The transition from one to the other, you get a lot of wheel spin. That's what these guys will be working on. Folks, let's get ready for some short track slam and bang at the friendly confines of NASCAR's shortest track. This will be interesting. This will be very interesting. I have no idea what to what really to expect. I, and I'm really hoping the alignment on the wheel is right where it needs to be. And it's not. Oh, nice, 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 nice. The alignment on the wheel is off by a lot. Nice. Great. Because I restarted the computer and I never decided to give myself time to load up NR2003 to fix up the alignment on the wheel or at least make some adjustment to it just that way it's all straightened up and everything. So now I got to drive like this which makes it twice as difficult. And again, it doesn't really make that much of a difference when you get used to it. And it's muscle memory, kind of. Okay. But, kind of had a bad start. Had a bad start, but recovered. That's not bad. And we're running inside of the top 10. That's always a good deal. Okay. Okay. Nice. Already making up ground. Twenty-one eighty. Oh, okay. Just don't shoot into the corner. I don't want to shoot the car straight into the corner. Already up to third. Not bad. Not bad. Harvick's leading. Hamlin second. And then you got myself in third. And Truex fourth. Looks like Dale Jr. in fifth now. Okay, so I'm starting to think now if I if I I'm, I'm gonna keep experimenting with medium difficulty. Uh, I'll do I'll go to Texas with medium difficulty next, and if I actually am a little bit too fast, I will up the difficulty back to hard. Because this might be a little bit too easy, but you know what? I need to get myself back up in the points. Like I I I really do. Leading. Leading at Martinsville. Nice. Okay. Now all I want now all I really want to do is keep this lead for the next quite a few bit of laps in this race. Because I feel like I feel like with the tire wear and everything that was really playing a factor into it, it, it just made this it just made racing like twice as difficult. So I mean I just try to adjust the settings to where I I wouldn't be this far out ahead, but more so just that way I could just hang with the leaders and just hang hang up at the front of the field rather. Or and just not make too many mistakes. Because I didn't that's one of the last things I really wanted. Check my inside. Harvick is like a second behind me. Oh jeez, okay. Ooh. I might play grid next after this race and keep on going with the grid. I, I'm just thinking about what other games I could record 
or what are the videos I could record here soon. Because I've been recording a lot of racing content. <laughs> That's what m at least 75% of the content is, is racing content. <laughs> or 50% of it is racing content. Um... Uh, 35% of it is Among Us. Well, really 50% of it is Among Us. Then I, I might have to make a pie chart <laughs> on like what this game really covers the most. And what this channel really covers the most of nowadays. It's when it comes to gaming at least. Oh gosh. 2143. That's the fastest that I've run. Which is not bad, honestly. But I'm really starting to pull away. I'm starting to pull away from Harvick. This might be an easy win here. <laughs> this might be a very easy win. Nice lap. Good job. 21 really 41. Nice. Two one hundredths faster. Already catching up to lap traffic here. I don't know who that is. In dead last. I honestly don't. I don't even know who that is. Nice and smooth. You're way out front. Use that clean air. Absolutely, I'm gonna use all that clean air. Use as much clean air as I can. Mm. Oh gosh, man. Great Twenty-one twenty-nine. Jeez, oh Pete. Is that Bobby Labonte? That has to be Bobby Labonte. That's way back here. Yeah, it is. Oh, and I just got into the curb. <laughs> I could afford that because I am plenty ahead of Kevin Harvick. Plenty ahead. Okay. Now this is where I'm really going to have to take it easy. We can do this all day. And all night. That's one of the things I used to say whenever I played Inside Line. Or 14 or 15. Back when people just played those games all the way through. Okay. Oh gosh. There we go. Uh, don't shoot it. Just take. Oh, K. Robbie. Robbie, where did you go? Oh, whew. I don't know if I got into the back of Travis or Quapple or what. I don't know. But I must have hit the pump, the brakes or something. But either way. Still gonna keep going. And this is more lap traffic for Harvick to deal with. Okay. And I don't even know where Harvick's at. Uh, at the, on the track, at least. Maybe coming off a of turn four. Just as I'm coming off a of two, he's probably going into one. I have no, I have no clue how far, how far back he is. But I'm four seconds ahead. This it. is a little too easy, but you know what? It's fine. To go. Three, zero. It's fine. It's okay. We're killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. Man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Well, I just kind of got off the track there. Nice. Sarcastic right there. Completely sarcastic. Okay.
And I'm also at this point, I'm just kind of focused, so I'm, I do apologize if I'm being really quiet. Seven seconds ahead of Hamlin? Jeez. This is domination right here. But I'm going to need this. I need a performance like this, but not this dramatically dominant. <laughs> Whew. Alright. Get by all three Almirola, Gillen, and Reagan. One outside. Doing great. Nice and steady. Second place is way back. Halfway. Halfway, buddy. I've been getting 2193 quite a We're bit from side. what I've seen. Like, quite literally, every time I look over at the time, I just see that. Oh, Jeez, that was a horrible corner exit off four. That's fine, though. It's all right. Off one, or two, rather. This is either... I think this is Jamie McMurray. Oh, yeah, this is. This is McMurray. I thought it was Tony Stewart at first because the paint scheme, the Bass Pro Shop scheme for this car, for McMurray's car, looks very similar to Tony's. Kind of. Color wise, at least. Quite a bit of fun. I'm having lots of fun right now. Why? Because I'm dominant and second place is like 11 seconds back now. And I'm having. I'm taking it easy on the on the brakes. Jeez. There you go. Oh, hi, nice. Got your door up top. On your right side. High side. Right's clear. This is like this is a do uh, performance. Kind of reminiscent, a little bit reminiscent to Tyler Reddick. You remember back in 2017, pitch strategy played into his favor, I think it was. And then he pulled out to like a 17 second lead because of that and won. <laughs> Keep digging, buddy. It's not over yet. That was that was crazy. It's a good. It was a very interesting way to earn your first Xfinity win, though. That was a Kentucky too. Man, he pulled out to quite a lead that night. Seven, like I said, 17 seconds after a pit strategy, and you're still pulling away after that? It's impressive. We're on the outside. All right. High. Oh, jeez. Mark. It's all clear, bud. I know he didn't... Well, he did race at Martinsville in real life back in 2013 when he subbed for Hamlin. The guy who's in second place right now. 15 seconds back. Now I feel like I'm going to put Labani and all these other ones that I just passed. Oh, jeez. I have a feeling he set that because of the curve. But anyways. I have a feeling I'm going to put Labani another two laps down now. Two laps down now. Alright. Let's get by. Car outside, he says. Clear up top. Gosh, my hand. My right hand is starting to get a little bit achy. Just a little bit. Man, they're getting really greasy. They're fighting for space. I had to. I, plus, I had to break early there because I didn't want to get into the back of Biffle. I did not want to do that. So, 15 to go. Well, and I'm just going to ride right here. Well, until that happens. Until the bottom just gets backed up by Biff. By the Biff. He door. just top, jams on the brakes. Just a tiny skosh. No one's gonna touch you out here today. Just a tiny skosh. Right clear. And, yeah, that happens. I'm catching a Nagano. And I get into Biffle again. Nice. Totally what I want. 
the BK racing cars are nose to tail right here. Cool. Absolutely cool. Montoya, you got pretty darn loose there, my man. Okay. Okay, wow, that was a launch. Okay, whoa. Alright, got myself out of that situation. Sixteen seconds ahead of Kyle Bush. That's that's like a half that has to be like a half a racetrack ahead because by the time I'm here on the front stretch he's already hitting the back stretch back stretch jeez I can't even speak man here we go Ooh. I don't even know how many cars I've lapped they're all, they're all just wrapped under a blanket now. I don't even know how far, how far up I am in the field at least. I don't even know. I am going down low. I am. I can't go high. I'm not going to do that. Well, I technically just did there because the car just drifted up the track. But still, this is telling me. All night. Alright. Now I'm up to Travis Pastrana. There we go. 21-18. Nice. There we go. Ran the fastest lap of the race right there. Brad. The checkered flag foundation. Oh, jeez. Yes, I know. Because I passed him. Almost 20 seconds? Wait, I just caught... I, I see Kyle. I see him. He's way up there. So, basically, if I can catch up to Kyle, I would have laughed at the entire field. This win was way... This is... This is way too easy. Second place is way up there. So, it's not way back. It's up there. Second place is up there, within sight, within striking distance. As long as I can just get by all the rest of these guys here. Ooh. Ooh. Here, Let me just get by. Just for one second. Ooh. Four to, go. Four to go. If I can catch up to Kyle, like I said, I would have lapped the whole field. I'm almost to him. I'm almost there. Oh, wow. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Lapped the entire field right there. I just lapped the whole field. I just lapped the whole field on medium difficulty. Okay. Save it. Okay, good. You saved it, Almarola. Good. Good. Two to go. Coming up. Two to go. Coming up. Two to go. Two to go. Coming up. Coming to the white. Oh gosh, this is the most dominating win that I've ever had in a long, 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 long time. It took six races, but I'm finally going to get a first win. Not in the way that I thought it was going to be in, but you know what? Oh well. I'm just going to let David Reagan go. Finally! Finally got our first win.
right there. Finally. Oh my gosh. That, that felt like it took forever. There we go. All right. All right. Yes. Finally. First win. First win of the year. Of the season. My gosh. It took long enough. But we finally got it. Too, uh, much, far much of a dominating win, but you know what? Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, there you go, Jeff. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh gosh, man. So. And what can I say? You're a winner. <sighs> started ninth. Uh, had a little bit of trouble because of the wheel. Recovered quickly though. And won the race. Won the race. Led how many laps? I don't even know how many laps I led. But yeah, the whole field got put a lap down or more. Who's the first car that went, who first driver that went two laps down? Was it, oh, it was David Gillen. Gillen was the first one to go two laps down. I thought, I thought there was going to be a restart when I got into the back of Almirola. You saw how sideways he got, but he managed to save it. And we managed to keep going. So, hey, kudos to Al Marola for that one. Yeah. I, oh, Josh Wise is the only one that went three laps down. That's not bad, though. All right. First win in the books. What, four poles. One top ten. Hey, going into Texas is some really good momentum. Uh, I'm really hoping to do well at, at Texas here. With This puts us 35th in the points. Gained seven spots. Looking to gain more. Man, this is this is going to be a climb. This is going to be a very very difficult climb up the points. But you see Biffles the points leader and the difference maker between Biffles Kislowski's top 10s and Biffle breaks that tie. So that's what puts him in the points lead. Um with 208 points. As for somebody like me, yeah, this is this is going to help. This has helped quite a bit. And I'm gonna need more runs like that in order to get up to, in order to get inside of the top 12 because that's what I'm gonna need. But alrighty, that's gonna do it for this video. We'll be at Texas next time out. Thank you for watching. If you haven't liked the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't considered subscribing, I recommend you do so in order to keep up with some fine content coming out in the near future. That about does it for me. Now I'll see you in the next one.